Hello, welcome to Chief Workshop. Visit our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, look for the link in the description where you'll find uh, a free mini course in that link. And uh, well worth your while. So let's get started. Alrighty, today we're going to do quick little deal on wall types. I'm not going to cast any aspersions, but a person who I shall not be named drew this plan and put in this monster cavity. And um, they obviously did not know how to change the wall types in chief. And so that's what we were going to try to do today. They thickened the wall which is good. It's a thicker wall. It's not 18 and a half inches though. If she had bothered to take a look at, oh, that's not it, at the old plan, it's 12 inches. Foundation is 12 inches of concrete. And up above, it's actually uh, eight and four eight block face brick and then they have one inch of plaster actually one inches of plaster on the interior this is a you know turn of the century chicago bungalow in riverside illinois which uh for those of you who know anything about riverside that was designed by uh, mr olmstead who did an incredible plan of the town. It's just uh, very beautiful. Okay, so we know it's not 18. We want to make it 12. We want to make it 8 and 4. So let's go to wall types. Let's define this. Let's make a copy. Let's rename it. And we're going to call it Block and Brick. Block Brick. Lock brick will be the wall type of our copy. And we'll have a three inch brick, brick, one inch airspace, no house wrap. There was no Tyvek in those days. So we're going to delete that since there's no Tyvek in those days. The main layer will become the masonry layer. It's not first studs. So go into first studs. Let's go to library materials. Um, Go to framing. It will be masonry. Blocks. It's a running bond. Blocks running bond. Looks something like that. Good. All right. And it's not five and a half. Ooh, what do we do here? No, this is main layer. This should be. That's not blocks running bond either. This should be deleted. We're going to delete this. So we have three, one. This is the block running blonde. Okay. Good. Eight. That's that. So we have four total. Eight inches of that. And we have this should be plaster. I don't even know if we have plaster listed in here as the materials, but let's see. Uh, stucco. Can we say stucco? We could. Cat face. What does cat face stucco look like? Eh, no, it's more of an eggshell. Eggshell. It's not a cat, cat face, though. It's more of a... We really, you know, if we, this is really fine-tuning it. I don't know if we really need to get this kooky. That should stick with Santa Barbara eggshell. That's cool. Okay. And it's one inch. Exactly. And there's nothing here. We can just delete this. It's not that. Uh, yes, total of 13. Correct. And the main layer is 8 and 4. That's good. 
We're going to hit OK. And hit OK. And now that changes that. But does that still, oh, it still looks like block and brick. So we don't, you know, we have to, let's make it look like what it really is. Let's define block and brick. Uh, the texture is fine. Pattern is fine. The fills are not fine. The fills, there is no, yeah, there's insulation. This really should be, instead of this, let's use, what fill should we use? Should be a hatch. Uh, not that. Um, let's say it's an 8-inch hatch. And it's at a 45-degree angle. Like that. And gray color is fine. So it looks like that. That's that. Let's see, what is the... Take a look at this fill. This is four inches. This is 45. Line weight is one. That's cool. Okay. So now that, that looks more like block, airspace, brick, plaster. Okay. Let's look at that. And then we can go around and we can use our object eyedropper. See if it'll change the wall. No, 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 no. We have to. We can select our walls. We want to change the perimeter of all the walls to match this one. Select this wall, which is messed up. Select this wall. That wall. This wall. Ooh, we have to straighten that one up. That wall. This wall. This wall. This wall. This wall, and let's just get those cleaned up for right now. Go to here, and say we don't want eight, eight and a half. We don't want the brick six with the funky dimension. We want block brick, and boom, all those walls are changed to what they should be. And later on, we can edit this. This is this is not what's happening here. We can use a uh, break command, break it right there. And now we've defined this wall. This wall is really a three and a half inch wall instead of a block brick. And it's three, well, it's not ICF siding. It is interior four. And there we go. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. And let's, let's highlight the other ones that weren't highlighted before. Go back to here. Instead of 80 and a half, we want those block and brick. There we go. Block and brick. And there we go. A little bit of a long-winded explanation, but you get the idea. How to change your wall types using the wall type menu in Chief Architect. Alrighty. Don't forget to leave questions uh, in the comments section. Or uh, email us with questions or suggestions. Please subscribe uh, on the YouTube channel. Please email us to uh, join our email list. Uh, we will notify you of uh, fresh content as soon as it's created.